Hi everyone, welcome back to Aidens Railways. Today I want to take a look at the Backman Branch Line Virgin Voyager train set. This is a second hand set that I've picked up recently. It's wonderful and well, let me show you it. So this is the Backman Branch Line Virgin Voyager free car train set. That is the class 220. It's got working lights. There is an extra car available, it includes a mains controller and has standard UK geometry oval track, as it says here on the front of the box. As you can see, you can see one of the actual cars there on display within the packaging. The catalogue number for this is 30-601 Virgin Voyager set free car unit. Whether or not this is visible on camera, I'm not too sure, but the box itself does have quite a bit of fading. It looks like it's been in the sunlight quite a bit, possibly in a display window or something like that, or just in a room with an awful lot of sunlight getting in. Without wasting any more time, let's get into the box. Well, what do you get in the box? Well, we've actually got some paperwork in it, which is amazing considering the age of this train set. Something that I've already looked at, which is this. This is the blown up drawing of all of the components, etc., for the actual power car, which is actually the center car. I actually had to use this when I purchased it because there was a couple of things I wanted to check in relation to its running and things like that. As always, these are great things to have and keep a hold of because they really do come in useful, as I've already proven to myself. Also inside the consumer guarantee and how to care for your locomotive and that sort of thing. On here, this looks like it may have been purchased around about 2008, uh, judging from what's written on the back. But we'll take that with a pinch of salt and we'll just assume that maybe that is the case. Like many other train sets, you can see the track, you can see the models themselves and you can see the controller. Now I'm not entirely sure how much this has been used. The only thing that was missing out of the set when I purchased it was the actual couplings that go between each car. I actually purchased some of these off the internet. They are very easy and still readily accessible to get a hold of. If I remember rightly, they probably only cost about three or four pounds. Now let's take a look at the track because normally I'm used to buying Hornby train sets and uh, if I just take one section out here. Ordinarily these days I think with the Hornby train sets you tend to get hold of third radius curves in your set. These are in no way third radius, they must be second radius or at least somewhere between second and third radius as they are Backman rails. They're almost definitely not third radius. So also in the pack we get two lengths of straight track, these look like double lengths, so slightly more than what you get in some of the Hornby sets more recently. I've noticed you're just getting two single straight lengths, but uh, we've got the two straight lengths there. Now you can tell this set has either not really been used or has in actual fact not been used. If it has been used, it's been looked after really well because it even has its packaging around the electrical cables to run from the controller to the track. Even the clip for the track seems to have had very, very little use. So we've got that, that runs between the controller and the track. And we've got a mains transformer. I'm not gonna pull that out yet. We'll get that out when we set up the track. That's obviously been used or taken out. You can see from the way it's all a bit tangled and messed. Now, one thing I found myself impressed with with these controllers. Now, I've never had these before. This is the what we call the basic analog controller from Backman. One of the things I noticed is there's considerably more weight to these than there are to the Hornby, especially the new Hornby one. Almost definitely the older silver Hornby one is very light. So on the back here, we have got the output, which is standard 3.5 millimeter jack socket there. And then we have got the input from the transformer into the controller. Nothing else, no accessory outputs or anything like that. We've got the directional switch. And one of the things that I found that I find really quite pleasant in using this controller, there's actually quite a bit of friction there on the control itself for operating the speed. I tend to find with the Hornby ones, they're very slack. There's not an awful lot of friction there. Very easy to just turn them all the way up. But I'm interested to see how well this controller performs because it does seem to have a bit more sturdiness to it, a bit more robust. We'll have a quick look at these couplings that I've actually had to purchase. They're very simple, they're very delicate to be quite honest. I have got one spare there and if I put that on my hand, there we go. And you can just say, make out how they connect between each model. Just like a draw bar really, more than anything else. They look very delicate, but they seem to work, do the job very well. As I said, these weren't actually in the set. They must have gone missing over time with the previous owners. So let's bring our attention to one of the actual cars, the front and rear cars, that is. Could be quite a tight fit here, yes, as there's a bit of foam that's been placed in to help protect them. This one is first class or club class. 
as it states there on the side of the model. So you've got all metal wheels on the bogies and there are electrical pickups because it does actually have directional lights. Let's just take a look from the side here and you can see the amount of detail for a model that if it was purchased in 2008, for me, there's quite a considerable amount of detail on a model that is pushing at the time of recording here, say 13 years old. So it's not a bad model. So you see we've got tinted windows here. We've got our handrails for entering the cab area and the cab door. We can see all of the detail here with the print for its running number and even you can see all of the print detail here above the doorway. We've got the Virgin emblem there, safety signs and cautionary signs. And we can see here a passenger doorway complete with step, lovely print detail here, another tinted window. And let's have a look at the under frame there. You can see all of the detail that is available on the under frame. Now the entire model along here has got tinted windows and I'm gonna put a picture up right about now, which will actually show that there are actually interiors inside these. Never thought that would happen. Normally, if the windows are this tinted, there seems to be a tendency to not bother putting an interior in, but I can assure you that there is an interior. The interiors don't light up, but I have a feeling that might be something I need to look into because quite frankly, if the interiors are there, why not have them visible? So we can see here at the rear, we've got our club club Last sign. We've got more information here for displays. We've got a disabled sign here, which uh, will indicate that you can enter the vehicle from this doorway, should you have a wheelchair or so on, or etc. We've got running numbers here, lots of molded detail. Let's have a look at the top. And the top is just as impressive, to be honest. It's an incredibly gloss finish. So if we have a look, you can see all of these vents, grills, pipe work, all of these incredible detail for what I would call, a, it is a train set. At the end of the day, it, it says it on the box, it is a train set. And you can see all of that detail that is actually included on the top of this vehicle and quite interestingly it's even got signs here which I'm assuming means not to walk on I suppose if the uh, fitters were working on these but the signage is all there it's an incredible amount of signage that has been placed on this model so taking a look at the front we can actually see our dummy coupling which is a welcome bit of detail it's incredibly well molded really does give the impression of the real item itself plenty of detail here underneath with jump cables and, and so on these are I'm assuming yes these would be the horns you can see there yes. we've got wipers they are separately fitted they're not molded on I've had a bit of a, a feel and they do move freely so they are separately fitted those wipers we've got all of the directional lights and these do work I have tested that and we'll see them soon in the video the other side is pretty much the same as the side I've just shown you if we look underneath, we've got our Backman branch line made in China, molded there. And like I said before, these are metal wheels. They have got contacts on all of the wheels. And you can see the wires coming off there for our directional lights. Now, this particular model or train set is not DCC ready. And this is why I actually had to have a look inside of the center car, which I'm about to get out, because I needed to see just how much work would be involved if I wanted to DCC this. DCCing the actual power car itself doesn't seem like it would be much of an ordeal. However, having the directional lights within both of the other units, I think it might become a bit of an issue and I might have to look into that because running from direct current to alternating current is going to have an effect on the LEDs actually working in the way that they're supposed to, if not damaging them. As there's no cables running between all of the models, it could involve quite a bit of work sorting out the uh, directional lights. So for the minute, it's going to stay analog. So let's have a look at this. This is our main power unit. This has got the motor inside it and it is quite an incredible weight so we've got our information display there our molded detail the doorways look absolutely great and yet again with steps and you can even see all of the print that's gone along here as well done a fantastic job we've got an imitation light here and you can see the name of our particular train here the welsh dragon so it's even a named unit that's even yes. better steps all included all of the printed words there. you can see all the detail here on this undercarriage of the chassis as well terrific amount of detail i think for an actual train set let's have a look at the end here and you can see our corridor even see the actual print that's gone into the warnings on both sides pipe work everything seems to be where it should be and you can see where our drawbar 
doors will connect. And let's take a look at the roof. We've got some more cylinders, grills, vents, lots of printed work here, pipe work as well. You can see the ribbing on the roof. This is quite an incredible weight. It really is. I cannot stress that. I imagine it's going to have quite some pulling power to it. So if we take a look at the last unit, which is pretty much the same as the first, I'm just going to give it a quick once over. Incredibly light after picking up that centre car there. This is your standard class, so it's not first class. There's no real difference apart from a few parts of the print being different. You can see there I've got our, we've got our first and our club class signs are missing from this unit. So as with the other unit, pretty much the same moulding I would imagine. All of the detail is there. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because we've already looked at the other one and you can see what a wonderful unit that is. And something I didn't show on the other one was the end. It has actually got more information on the end of this unit. So without any more waffle, let's get the track set up. Let's get the controller set up. Let's get this locomotive on the rails and let's see how it performs. Now that the locomotive is on the track, let's just see what's going to happen with a bit of power. Here goes. Now I don't know whether it's because it's not been run recently or things like that, but that is actually full power on this controller. And as you probably know, if you've got any of these ones, they are actually a really decent controller. So it could just need the leads running in, but it's running at a, what I would call a reasonably nice speed. We haven't had any drawbar couplings come undone yet. There's a little bit of a, a, a whine noise. Let's see if you can hear it. To be fair, if you've ever traveled on a, a Voyager, that's nothing compared to the noise here when you're actually traveling on the train. I have traveled on cross-country Voyagers, effectively the same actual train. This is a second-hand set, as I mentioned at the very beginning. What do I think about this set? It's a second-hand set. It's amazing it had pretty much everything in it bar the couplings. Normally you'd expect to have something a little bit more considerable missing sometimes, usually incredibly important, although obviously the drawbar couplings are actually quite important in order to use this. They only cost three to four pounds, I believe, readily available in most model shops and from Backman. What about the detail of the actual train itself? For the actual train itself, for a train set, I honestly believe that the quality of print, detail, molding for an item of the age it is, is actually really quite incredible. It's, it's, it's a lovely set. It is just analog. It's not DCC ready. So if you pick one of these particular sets up, not even DCC ready. It's a lovely set. I have got a additional center coach currently ordered online to make it up to a four car set. And that will make that complete for me. I had always wanted one of these for many years. I purchased this from Dome Trains of Stanley from Mick. I don't regret getting this at all. It is a lovely set. I don't know what it would have retailed at brand new, but I can tell you that I paid at a very reasonable price as far as I'm concerned. I've looked on the internet and they do seem to go for quite a considerable amount more. So I won't be getting rid of this set. It is perfect to go with our Virgin HST. I, I really do think it's wonderful. The level of detail on this for a train set, not a train pack, a train set is brilliant so i hope you enjoyed this video as always like comment subscribe share the video now if you haven't already click on that round icon and subscribe click on the bell and you'll also get notified every time i upload a video i've put a video at the top that you might enjoy watching and there's a playlist at the bottom and i'll see you again soon bye now